Look at Kelly getting her guitar. Kelly. Kelly, here she is. Okay. Are we ready to roll, Lou? Okay. So, <coughs> sorry. Da, 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 where am I here? Sorry, I have my notes. Okay. So, hi there. My name is Kate Imhoff, and I'm happy to be here interviewing our band for the evening for the New Revival Coffee House. And uh, this is the, the Porch Party Mamas. And I was wondering if each of you would just say your name and you know, introduce yourself sure. first. Hi, I'm Kelly Riley. I'm Katrine Peterson. I'm Senia Mack. I'm Felicia Brady Lopez. And I'm Jane Grondon. Great. Thank you. And uh, I was uh, on your website and reading a little bit about each of you. And I know that you have a lot of experience and many years of training. And you've done a lot of different work with different artists and along the way. So um, I was uh, thinking about that. I am wondering uh, just how you all came together and when that was. I think Kelly could answer that. Sure. You, you know, take the mic. I, I, was thinking, um, I was thinking about that on the, on the way here because we always kind of chuckle that we have, and I, I was thinking we have many uh, branches to this story and, um, because we've all known each other in different ways and at, at different times, but I, I think the, I would say the true um, impetus for putting this together is a gig that I put together. Uh, I think about, like, 13 years ago or something like that and I pulled together Senia and Katrine actually Senia recommended that I call Katrine and Felicia but we all knew each other anyway we just weren't playing as a group and um, I it was just kind of this casual gig and we threw it together and it was actually a, a set of my originals and then <laughs> we just decided we had so much fun we just started thinking about what we could do moving forward and then Senia and I started emailing each other back about funny, cute names that we could come up with ah, for the band. <laughs> How did you come up with the names? Yeah. Okay. I just want to add to uh, what Kelly said. She said, do you, th because Katrine had just had a child and Felicia just had a child and they were born about a month apart, right? Yeah. So um, Kelly said, do you think, your kids were two years old, do you think those guys would come out and play? I said, I don't know, ask them. But I said, but if we ask them to play, do you know Felicia and Katrine are both songwriters and we have to ask them if they do their songs? So anyway, that was how, so Kelly, that's how we, that was how we, had, and Kelly had that gig and we got together for like five minutes and did this gig and the guy writes back and he says, so that was great, what's the name of your band? And uh, Kelly and I didn't have a name. So we went back and forth. She says, I don't know, something like the Mamas and the Papas, but the... But without the Papa, so I went to town on that, and I won't tell you all the names that we came up with, but we, we settled on Porch Party Mamas because uh, Kelly and I used to play my porch in Cambridge all the time. And we, right, I called them porch parties, and we would make our audience play wax, paper, and combs. And if I, and if I went down to the corner to get beer, I could tell that they, what song they were on. It was so loud. <laughs> And Katrine also came, and Felicia also came, and then my husband met Jane Grondon, and he said, you have to play with this woman. And I said, oh, okay. And he said, no, and I'm setting up a concert. You have to play with this woman. And that's how uh, I met Jane, and then it was like, oh, you guys have to hear this woman. She's from Texas. That's enough. Blah, blah. <laughs> Meaning she's the baby of the group, right. last tag on. Last person last in, place. yes, yes. But definitely not least. Right, absolutely, <laughs> yes. I, I know, I've heard. <laughs> so um, I guess then my next question is, how do you classify your music? You know, is it, um, it's not all folk, and each of you uh, bring your own music, you know, to the band, so. I, I like well, how you say it. When people ask me what kind of music do you play, I just say pe music that we like. <laughs> but we, um, we're all songwriters, and um, we all have our influences, and we all have our realm of experience from the different kinds of music that we've played over the years. And I think we just, um, so, we, so each of us individually write from that perspective and that 
musical experience, um, that musical aesthetic, if you want to call it that. But we arrange everything together. And um, <clears throat> we also are starting to write more collectively. And for a while, I think the, maybe the first couple of years that we were all playing together, it really felt like, okay, now we're going to do one of Kelly's songs, and now we're going to do one of Katrine's songs. And, and, and I think we even said that. And we, yeah, and we don't really, I mean, we do often credit the songwriter, but, but we, at some point we recognized that we really needed to have, I think it was when we were starting, to, we were thinking about re making our first recording together. We had to have, um, we wanted to have a sound that was, even though we all brought songwriting to the table, that we wanted it to be our sound, the mama's sound. So we put a lot of attention on, you know, how can we make that happen? And and it's you know we have we have the same instrumentation. I mean we have our instrumentation, so that sort of gives us our sound a lot. But um, anyway, we and I, I feel like I think we've I feel like we've made good progress over the years towards having just sort of our mm -hmm. overall sound that's identifiable as us. Yeah. And one more question about so. Which, who, which one of you would like to talk about maybe uh, who influenced you? You know, which, which musical artists influenced you or did influence you when you were first starting off? And Do you have another half an hour? For this? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, that's why I said one of you or maybe two of you can talk about that. Well, you guys did an interview recently where... Yeah. Yeah. I can tell oh, you. Um, Katrina and I did an interview at Tufts with... What was... Tristan, Kirsten, on a Saturday morning, and she asked us what our influences, who our influences were, and we had some matching, and then some not, it was really interesting, but some of the names that came up were, um, some of the older names were Joni Mitchell, Bonnie Waite, Linda Ronstadt, um, Dixie Chicks, oh. They have a new album out. I'm super excited about that. They're a favorite of mine. I must say some local artists like Jonathan Brooke, Jennifer Kimball, and this story from way back, Sean Colvin, Mary Chapin Carpenter. Um, name some, throw some out. Lori Anderson. James Taylor, The Beatles. Um, some jazz artists. And Katrina studied all kinds of music and has some... So I think I think I'm the one that is uh, coming more a little bit more from the instrumental area, and it's more world music. So the percussion part, and then the jazz instrumental part. So that's yeah. So great to hear your your drumming. I just love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are in for a big treat tonight. We're very excited uh, to have the Porch Party Marmots here, and they are going to wrap us up here with a song, right? Great. Yay. Can I introduce it, Kelly? Sure. This is a song that I, um, I arranged a while back. Um, some of my favorite songwriters, John Lennon and Paul McCartney, wrote this song and uh, just put a different spin on it after kind of really thinking about the lyrics and, and trying to reflect the emotion of the lyrics uh, musically. And this is what we came up with. So we are the Pooch Party Mamas. Um, we have collectively now... Uh, recorded three uh, CDs. They can be purchased on our website, um, porchpartymamas.com. We are also on Facebook and Instagram, so follow us wherever you are <laughs> in the world. <laughs>